Today we will be installing one of our 100% bolt-on 25 degree rock sliders with a kick out. These rock sliders are made out of inch and three quarter 120 wall DOM tubing, fully welded, and in this case powder coated ready to install. The tools we will be using today for our installation are a 10 millimeter wrench, a 12 millimeter wrench, a 14 millimeter wrench, a 9 16th wrench, a 3 quarter inch wrench, a 10 millimeter deep socket is helpful, a 9 16th socket, and a 3 quarter inch socket. We will be using the ratchet that you need for those sockets. Having a magnetic flashlight is very helpful. You will need a flat screwdriver or pry bar and a knife or snips of some kind to trim some plastic. Before we can install our rock sliders, we first need to prep your Toyota Tacoma. This is gonna require taking a few items off and also putting a few pieces of hardware in the correct position. Starting on the driver's side, we need to remove a few items. The first item is these two nuts connected to these two studs. Using your 12 millimeter, go ahead and take the nuts off. After you take off the nuts, there is a little black box on your frame, which you can pull away and let hang down. It will be out of the way. Next, we need to remove the bolt right here that holds this bracket, which holds your wiring harness on. Using a 12 millimeter, remove the bolt. With the bolt removed, the bracket can remain loose. The last step is popping our brake lines loose. The plastic clips for the brake lines are right here and right here. To remove these, simply squeeze and push into the frame. The next thing we need to remove is the clamps that hold this wiring harness to your frame. Using a flathead screwdriver or other similar tool, pop these loose from the frame. Once those are removed, we need to remove two plastic caps on your frame. There's a rectangle one right here, and there is a round one right here. On some trucks, these are just stickers and not plastic caps. In either scenario, we need to remove them. The next thing that needs to be removed is this bracket that holds your brake lines in place. Using your 12 millimeter, remove the bolt. With the bolt removed, grab your brake lines and just very lightly pull them away from your frame, creating a little bit of workspace. After removing the brake lines, we need to remove this plastic cap on the inside of your frame. There is another bolt right behind your brake lines. Grab your 12 millimeter, take that bolt out. With the bolt removed, you can now pull this plastic cover off. It does have some foam taped on the bottom, but just give it a pull and twist it out of the position. Now we need to insert our square nut into our rectangular backing plate with the square hole. Simply insert the hook into the plate, squeeze the nut and push it in and it will clip on if done correctly, you will see the two flanges on the back side. Now we're going to put our backing plate into position. With the nut on top, you will be inserting it into this rectangular hole on your frame cross member. 
simply lift it up and slide it in, ensuring that the nut stays on top. It's okay if it slides down into the cross member, we'll put it into position later. It's very important that this is in position before the rock slider is put up on the truck. The last step in preparing our driver's side frame for a rock slider is to remove this bolt. This uses a 14 millimeter. Go ahead and pop it loose and remove it. Now we need to prepare the passenger side for the rock slider. The first thing to remove is this plastic cover. Using a 10 millimeter wrench or socket, remove the two bolts. There's one on the bottom and there's one on the top. With the plastic cover removed, we can now take these two bolts out to remove the bracket. These use a 12 millimeter. With the bolts removed, pull the bracket away from the frame and let it dangle on its own. Next, we will be removing the plastic covers just like we did on the driver's side. Following the same steps as before, connect your nut to your backing plate and put your backing plate into the cross member. Again, with the nut facing upwards and just slide it into place. Finally, we move on to our rear bolt. Just like the other side, go ahead and remove it from the truck. The passenger side is now ready for the rock slider to be installed on the truck. There is one important part that we need to point out. When we get ready to install these, we are gonna be putting our 14 millimeter bolt back into position, and it will be going into this hole right here. It is the only hole on this frame plate that is an oval instead of a circle. This bolt will hold the slider in place for the remainder of the installation. Grab the 14 millimeter bolt that was removed from the bottom of the frame. With a helping hand, we will now lift the rock slider up against the frame and put this bolt back into its location, which will hold the rock slider up and allow us to install the rest of our hardware. We will now push the rock slider up against the frame. We want to make sure that our oval that we pointed out earlier lines up with the holes in the frame for our bolt. Once they're lined up, we take our bolt, we put it back in position, and it, we need to get at least three turns on our bolt to ensure that it's going to hold our rock slider into position. Do not tighten this bolt yet. We want the rock slider to be able to move around so we can get all of our bolts lined up. Once it's in there, you can go ahead and let it droop down. It will not fall on the floor. The bolt will not come out as long as you have the three turns in. We are now going to install our half inch by one and a half inch bolts into the frame. What you're going to do is take a bolt, put on a half inch washer. This will go through your rock slider. On the back side, you will put one of our rectangle plates with the hole, a washer, and a nut. As we install these, ensure not to tighten anything down. Leave everything loose and hand tight, and we will get them tightened down in the correct sequence later on in the installation. On this 2019 Tacoma, there will be three positions where we install this hardware. On the second gen two-wheel drive Tacomas, there will be four positions. On this 2019 Tacoma, there are three positions that get our hardware installed. For the 2019, we have a position here, we have a position here, and we have a position on the back side 
over here. On some, there will be a hole in the frame in this fourth position. If your truck has a hole there, put a bolt there. On all the positions here, here, and here, you will be putting the bolt in from the outside. On this one position on the driver's side, the assembly needs to go backwards. So you're going to take your bolt and washer and backing plate and put them in from the inside of the frame and then install your washer and your nut. Again, this is only on the forward position. We do this so that when this box gets installed, it has enough clearance. These nuts are very tall and will not allow it if installed backwards. Go ahead and install your hardware in the three positions as we described. A bolt with a washer. Then on the back side, we put our rectangle backing plate. Then a washer, then a nut. Now we're going to be putting our clamps on the frame. I'm gonna explain how the hardware assembly goes before we put them in the truck. For the clamps, you will need two two and a half inch bolts and one three inch bolt per side. The shorter spacers go with the two and a halves and the longer spacer goes with the three. The hardware assembly requires you to take a bolt, install a washer. You will push that through your slider frame plate. You will install your spacer, then your clamp with the hook facing down, a washer, and a nut. The clamping hardware assemblies install as follows. In the very front, you get a two and a half inch bolt. In the center, you get a two and a half inch bolt. And in the very back, you do your three inch bolt with the longer spacer. The clamp will hook over the inside lip of the frame. Now we're going to clip our square nuts into our handle so that we can begin the hardware on the front of the rock slider. A very important detail here, the clips do not go on the long side. They will fall right out. It's very important that we put them in the correct position. Hooking on, squeezing and allowing it to latch on. These are adjustable left to right to ease with your installation process. The top of the nut needs to be on the same side where the handle bends outward. Now we can go ahead and put our handle inside the frame. The front with the two clip-in nuts goes over the brake lines and inside of the frame. You will be using the handle portion to hold this in place when we put our bolts into the front frame plate. Next, we're gonna be putting our bolts into these two holes. You're gonna take your half inch by one and a half inch bolt and install a washer. Next, you're gonna reach into your frame and grab your handle. Looking through this hole, you can line up the threads on the handle to where you can see them. Then take your bolt, put it through, and thread it into the nuts. You may have to lift up on your rock slider to get it to line up. Also, only get about one and a half to two turns as you need room to get the other bolt in.
Once you get your first bolt started, line up your second bolt. Install your hardware. Now we're going to install our bolt into this long slotted hole. Grab your bolt and your washer. Using this hole right here, you can stick your finger in there and move your square backing nut into position. Once it lines up, put your bolt through and thread it in. After putting all our half inch bolts in the front of the slider, all of our half inch hardware is now installed. Before we can install our black box, we need to go ahead and tighten up this 14 millimeter bolt and snug the slider frame plate up against the frame. Grabbing your wrench, go ahead and tighten it down. Next, we're gonna go ahead and tighten our reverse one down so we can install our black box back into position. With this bolt tight, we can now install our black box. After tightening our half inch bolt, we need to go ahead and put our brake lines back into position. Reaching under the truck, go ahead and grab your brake lines and clip them back into their factory holes. With our brake lines in position, we can now reinstall the little black box. With the studs pushed through the frame, put our nuts back into position. This black box is only on 2016 and newer Tacomas and select models. If your truck does not have this black box, don't worry. Instead of putting these nuts back on these studs, we would install our 3 8 hardware in these two positions. Now that we've got all the pieces back where they need to go, the next step is to quickly ensure that the, the rock slider is parallel with your cab. Go ahead and take a step back from your truck and reference the straight edge of the rock slider with the straight edge of your cab. You can do this by lifting the front or pushing down on the back. That's why these holes are slotted so that we can get our rock slider into the correct position. Once the rock slider is positioned, we are gonna complete our tightening sequence. The tightening sequence starts at the front with the half inch bolts and moves backwards. We had already tightened the one for our black box. We're gonna get our second, third, and optional fourth bolts tightened. Then we're gonna do the front bolts on the front frame plate. Then we're gonna finish with our bottom bolts and then our clamps. Once all those bolts are tight, we'll move on to the passenger side. After tightening all of our half inch bolts, we can now install some of our pieces back on the truck. Starting with this wiring bracket, go ahead and line it up, and put your bolt in, get it in there hand tight. It does overlay the slider frame plate a little bit. So what I like to do is just grab it and give it a little tug to pull it off of there. Next, we're gonna tighten our two nuts 
for our black box. Our final step is to put our bolt back into our brake line clamp. Now that the driver side rock slider is installed, we're going to go ahead and move on to the passenger side. As we did on the driver side, we're going to use the help of a friend, line up our rock slider, and put our bottom frame bolt in. Just like the driver side, it is now time to put our inch and a half bolts into position. As a reminder, it's a bolt with a washer. It goes through the slider end frame, backing plate, washer, and nut. The only difference on the passenger side is all of the bolts will go in from the outside and the nuts will be on the inside of the frame. Just like the driver's side, you need to install the clamps along the frame. Again, three and a half inch bolt, two and a half inch bolt, two and a half inch bolt. Just like the driver's side, we need to put our handle into the frame rail. I've pre-installed the nuts just as before. We also removed the plastic cover just as we did on the driver's side. We're gonna go ahead and take our handle and slide it into the frame. Now we can put our bolts in. Grabbing the handle, we will go ahead and move it into position, looking through the hole to get our threads lined up. And you wanna get two turns into the threads. Once those two bolts are in, we move down to our large slotted hole, grabbing our bolt and washer, putting the hole alongside, moving the backing plate into position, lining it up, and putting in our bolt. Now we're going to bolt our wiring mounting bracket back into position. A little trick we like to do on some trucks that don't use all four of the bolts is use one of our backing plates to help space this out from the frame. Simply slide it underneath and put the factory bolt back into position. Then install the second one. Leave this hand tight and we will tighten it down during our tightening sequence. On the passenger side, because we don't have the brake line, we have the option of putting in a few 3 8 bolts if you desire. You will see one here and here. There is a third spot with a much larger hole. We do not recommend installing a bolt in that position. Taking your 3 8 bolt and washer, push it through the hole, then grab a washer and a nut and put it on the back side. After we get all of our bolts installed, it's time to level our slider as we did on the other side, then begin our tightening sequence. Starting with the bottom bolt as we did before, tighten that with your 14 millimeter. Then starting at the front of your main frame plate, tightening the half inch bolts from the center all the way down, the front bolts, and then the bottom bolts. We're gonna go ahead and tighten up our bottom bolt, get our slider leveled, and then tighten everything down. With all of our half inch bolts tightened, we're now going to tighten these two bolts with our 12 millimeter. Last, we're going to tighten down our two 3 8 bolts. The last step in our rock slider installation is to trim our little wiring cover. The rock slider gusset goes right in this area, so we just need to notch a small piece out of this plastic cover. Grabbing some snips or a knife, we're gonna simply make a small notch 
next to this mounting bolt. And that will give all the clearance we need to get this back installed. Taking our cover, put it back into the factory position with the notch going over the rock slider. Line up our bolts and put them back in the factory position. After we install our plastic panel on the passenger side, that completes the installation of our 25 degree rock sliders on this beautiful 2019 Toyota Tacoma. Please check out CaliRaisedLED.com for all of your off-road and LED needs. Thank you.